They've had a good camp. They've been accurate um, on field goals. They've, uh, you know, had good timing on field goals. Um, you know, we feel good about the fact that, that, that we can put them in a game situation and they'll be ready. Uh, really, all, you know, both of our guys are kicking for the most part have done very well. Kickoffs have been in good locations. I've had good distance. But right now we're optimistic that kicker, kicker wise, we're, we're going to be uh, pretty solid. Dan, Dan's a good punter. We've got guys who can punt a ball. Um, what you got to do is you got to get them to feel comfortable. And that's protection and that's, you know, uh, getting people down the field coverage wise. Uh, you know, a punt team is a team. You know, kickoff, I mean, you, you could be good on kickoff and that be really centered around just the, the oh, kicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but a, a punt team, you've got to be good really in all the moving parts. And, and it's not just about the punter. Um, there's so many other things that go with it, whether that punter feels comfortable, if you've got time, you know, how the coverage is and all that stuff. So, so that's always a work in progress, and we're, we're continuing that each and every day. And if, if I go out there on defense and they score, I, I got to get back out there on kick return. If the offense gets stopped, I got to go out on punt, run down and make a play. Uh, if they offense gets stopped, I got to run out there and kick uh, punt return. So I try not to think about it as much. I'll be tired. You know, it's obviously a major area of need. It was one of our first things that we felt we had to address as a team. You can't be... You can't be 120th out of 120 in net punting and have a successful football team.